I start studying art by looking to old masters. Started with uh, Dutch painters, then Italian. So I was kind of like progressive in time. Uh, when I was a kid, I like, like I think I started from the Dutch artists, and um, more I was growing, more I was coming to the contemporary, and now I watch mostly contemporary art. Also, I've been copying, to be honest. That was like my first exercising to learn how to paint. I would just like sit and paint like portraits from Dutch artists, Italians and stuff. So that was my first go back, like go, go to school. That, w that would be my first thing. Uh, so I think I, w I would start with, uh, with sketches. So I'll first I'll sketch, for example, this position or that position I'm, I, would, I would do a shape and then I'll find a model and then I'll take uh, pictures of a model so I can look some details um, and uh, then I'll sketch bigger on a canvas and uh, first week I would look into onto the pictures like I have an iPad right next to my canvas so once in a while I'll turn it on and I'll look the details of a hand, of a foot, of a face or something. And uh, after one week, I think about like next month, I wouldn't look anywhere. And I'll just like finish without looking, hand free and um, just enjoying the process. For me, egoistically, the process is more important. But for the others, is the result, of course. And um, if the result is not satisfying, the process doesn't matter at some point, of course. Uh, but I enjoy the process. Like I, I, that's my favorite way to spend time. And um, if I really enjoy the process, most oftenly, it shows on a on a result. You know, I've been always liking every form of design and everything that is visual, so architecture is a big part of it. And uh, I've been studying architecture just for myself, and I've been drawing like houses and constructions, uh, real, not very realistic. And uh, I've been always dreaming to build this like, crazy out of my fantasy house studio where in a perfect world, I will be living and creating. And it would be not just space for myself, but it will be always, uh, in my mind, it would be always a space where uh, different forms and shapes of arts will meet. And uh, just to create this place um, uh, where people will come and get inspired, technically, just to inspire people. For me, I think that's the main goal, is inspiring others. And I think those are the magic moments for everyone. And um, I start, at some point, I just decided that I should just pull the trigger and start building to put it in three dimensional. And uh, it's been magical three, four years since I started it. It's still in process, mostly done. And uh, I have a lot of ideas and projects coming there. So yeah, it's very exciting. I think I've been partnering with such a concept. It's been always more like uh, traditional galleries or museums or something more, more traditional in artistic way or like a pop-up show, group show. I'm open to experiment as long as it stays uh, interesting projects and professional. Um, yeah. I think whatever brings uh, to art scene and develop uh, contemporary art and exposure, it's a positive thing. So if it's done correctly, I think it can work really well. So it's everything it depends on the quality of the and execution of the, of, the, of the thing. And I believe that it can be done really well. Well, I'm very happy and proud that I'm Armenian myself and can witness your studio in person. And also we are very happy 
to be able to collaborate with an artist with a strong cultural instinct. Thank you. Likewise.